Snipe, Snipe, Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Joan Jones, and we are back with another episode of Kick Story. As I told you guys, once a week, I will be picking out a sneaker out of my personal collection, telling you the story behind the shoe. Now, this video series was chosen by you, the subscribers, and hopefully you guys liked it. Last week, I did my first episode. I loved it. You guys loved it. I got great feedback, so I'm back here with another one. This is episode two. Before we get started, I just want to shout out everybody who came here to watch this video, everybody who supports it means a lot, man. I also have the Snipe Squad hoodies. They are available. Shouts out to the people who have been hitting me up for them. I'm shipping them out ASAP. No worries. To all my people who do want a Snipe Squad hoodie, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram. My IG and Twitter will be linked down below. Actually, you don't even have to follow me on Instagram. Just DM me and let me know you want a hoodie and we can handle everything there. Hey, look, man. Help me out on Twitter. My Twitter is not that good, man. Actually, my Twitter is terrible. I want to be on Twitter, but it's like I have no reason to be, man. My Twitter is weak. It's definitely weak. So follow me on Twitter as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I don't know if this is your guys' first time watching, but I'm going to say it until we hit it. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. I cannot. I repeat, I cannot do that by myself. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new. I appreciate it as always. So guys, today kick story is something a little different. I'm talking about a sneaker that everybody loved at one point in time. But more importantly, I'm talking about the way I got the sneaker. Now it is year 2019 and everybody's using StockX and GOATs. But before StockX and GOAT, where was people mainly buying sneakers? In my opinion, why are people using PayPal like it's the, the best thing ever created? One one reason and one reason only and one place and one place only eBay eBay was the spot to buy all of your sneakers before stock X before go before the sneaker con app it was all about eBay eBay still has steals and deals now you might see people from time to time post on eBay or even buy things off eBay but it's such a risk because you no longer had that middleman service of making sure everything is legit all my OG sneaker heads please comment right now I know all my OG sneakerheads know about the eBay gamble. All my younger sneakerheads, man, y'all got it made, bro. Y'all got it made. It's been so many times where eBay has gotten over on people, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. The good thing is you get your money back, but it's been so many times, man, you might order a shoe and just get an empty box, or you might get some Air Force Ones that's all beat up, even though you asked for a pair of Jordans. eBay, man, I'm telling you, eBay made a man out of us, bro. It was definitely one of those times where, it, I mean, it was all you had, bro. This is an eBay story. This is how I picked up a sneaker, and like I said once before, I still look at things on eBay now, but I'm kind of spoiled by StockX. I'm kind of spoiled by GOAT, man. I see that I I really don't have as big as a risk yes I know that sometimes fake still slither through but the fact that there's no middleman at all is like totally at viewer discretion so the shoe that we will be talking about today is no other than here we have it, the LeBron 9 Big Bang, aka Galaxy, aka All Star. This is one of my favorite LeBrons ever. Now, it's no secret, or maybe it is a secret, that LeBron 9s are one of my favorite silhouettes. If not, yeah, you can say it. LeBron Nas is my favorite silhouette, hands down. It is my favorite LeBron silhouette. This is back when LeBron Nas were everything, bro. Now LeBron's whole market, his whole scheme is more athletic based. It's all performance based. This sneaker was definitely fashionable. It was still athletic, but now if you look at LeBron's latest sneakers, it's 100%, bro. 100% performance based. It has nothing to do with how dope it looks on foot or, or you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, I know I have some LeBron lovers. I'm a LeBron lover as well, but I know people who, man, religiously collect LeBrons and they might throw them on with a fit. I'm not saying you're doing wrong. I'm just saying they will never look like these, the eights, the sevens, the nines, even the tens. After that, everything got a little iffy. Anyways, guys, this here is the LeBron Big Bang 9. Now, this shoe is definitely one of the best, in my opinion. It has the glow up and the dark features. It has this amazing, eye-catching, burnt orange going all around through the entire shoe, man. It's just a dope sneaker to have with a great concept. This is back when the Galaxy shoes was like out of this world, man. When you had the Galaxy Kobe's, you had the Galaxy Zoom Rookies, the Galaxy Phone Posits, you had the LeBron Galaxy. Like, everything was... If it glue in the dark, it was like resale through the roof. So I was new to eBay at this time. I, I never used it. I've never tried once. So I always look. I might go look at something. I press the watch button to keep an eye on it when the bid is going down or when the bid is going up. I like to keep, you know what I'm saying, keep, I want to know what's going on with the sneaker I'm looking at. But up to this point, I've never bought a sneaker off of eBay, period. I was afraid, man. So many people told me eBay stories. So many people have been scammed and, you know, it's like, 
I, I just didn't want to pull that trigger. How this one went was actually, man, I got a great deal on it because it wasn't like a buy now. A person threw up a bid on this. I forget exactly how much I paid, but it was nowhere near the price that it's worth. You know what I'm saying? It was nowhere near that. So the bid was something crazy. And what I would do, you know what I'm saying? Your boy, Joan Joan. I was one of those guys that waited to the last second to bid. Yes, all my resellers out there, I know y'all hated people like me. Uh, a lot of people just do straight buy now. They don't even do bids because of guys like me. I'm not gonna lie, man. Say if the bid is $100, I'm gonna wait till it go five, four, three, two, one, and put $101. Like, I'm gonna get that buzzer beater steal right off the bat. Sometimes it can bite you on the butt because as you put in a buzzer beater offer, somebody else is. You might put in a dollar, they might put in five, and they beat you out. But it was always a risk that I was willing to take. This nigga in particular was being sold by a guy, and I wanted it so bad. During the time, I only had like a few LeBron nines, but this was the grail. This is, honestly, if you don't count like the MVP or the with the LeBron nines, this is the one for me, especially when it comes to like general release, because you can kind of call these a general release. So I type it in, I see my size, and I'm like, cool. I see a pair, it's not going for much, it, maybe it's too good to be true. We all know in Snickers if it's too good to be true, normally, nine times out of 10 it is. So I was skeptical, man. I look at the dude's comments, I look at his recent buyers, and everybody said the dude legit. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, cool. I'ma try it out. I'ma see if bruh's really what it is. I put in my little bit, you know, I don't say nothing too much. I go about my day. Like I told you, I watch all the items I wanna watch. And I think eBay has something to where if you was bidding on the item, They'll let you know if somebody outbids you. Even though it was a while back, I remember it was a late night. I remember it was a late night. I was in my room and I was just watching it count down. Watching it count down. Watching it count down. And somebody tried to pull a me on me, bro. It was like 10 seconds left and they put like an extra five or $10 there. That's when you mess up, you know what I'm saying? Your boy Jones, I ain't gonna hold you. I wait till the last minute. So even if you do put something in the five seconds, you still giving me four seconds to do what I gotta do. That's all I need, I ain't gonna hold you. Dude, go ahead and put in like an extra five. I'm throwing an extra seven and I got this sneaker. But more importantly, man, this was my first pair of shoes I've ever purchased off of eBay. eBay is such a, man, bro, eBay is so iconic to the sneaker community, especially early on. Like, I'm telling you, if you read the comments right now, if y'all actually listen, everybody can agree. Before the Stock X, before the GOATs, before any of these, man, eBay was life, man. eBay was everything. Everybody always looked on eBay. And this was my first purchase, man. And after this, I started going eBay crazy. A lot of the LeBron now that I have behind me, or a lot of older shoes, like some of these LeBrons, some of these phone posits that I had that released way back in like 2003. But it's getting so tough now, man. Like fakes are getting so close now, and eBay is just, ah, man, it's kind of dwindling, bro. I, I see eBay dwindling, and it's kind of sad to just see that getting pushed out, but no middleman is like a huge risk these days because fakes are so close. Like I said, man, still are very, very trusted sellers. Have to look at their feedback, man. Like 100% feedback, 99% feedback, how many people have they sold to. That is very important when you're dealing with eBay. It's really no different than Poshmark, uh, OfferUp, all these services that people have, man. But this is my kick story on the first ever purchase I got from eBay and it happened to be one of my favorite or if not my favorite LeBron 9 silhouette the LeBron 9 Big Bang please tell me any experiences you ever had with eBay and also let me know how you feel about the LeBron 9 Big Bang do you feel like LeBron's are trash now do you like the old LeBron's like these models did you like the LeBron 9 at all let me know down below in the comment section guys and make sure you subscribe to my channel once again 100k on the way also follow me on IG and Twitter because that Twitter is terrible they both will be linked down below in the description of the video and it's running through your screen right about now. You know guys, before I head out, I have to say, everybody wanna be famous, but who really putting in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all, dream big.